Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <music> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks, where today I will be reviewing two books that I finished up. First one is Batman Death Blow, After the Fire, the deluxe edition, uh, published by DC, written by Brian Azzarello, and art by Lee... Bermejo and Tim Bradstreet does the other stuff. Uh, I am aware of Deathstroke. I think he was created by Jim Lee with the first thing of Image, first issues of Image, but I never really got into him, so I don't know much about him. But I thought uh, this would be a great book because uh, what I do know of Death Blow, he'd be great to go against Batman. Turns out that he's not actually going against Batman, but... Uh, This uh, story takes place in two different time periods. Three. Uh, ten years ago, five and ten minutes from now, and then now, I guess. Uh, starts out with death uh, in the Gotham's Chinatown. And you have Death Blow and a guy in radio contact, and Death Blow is on a mission to take somebody out. And he winds up not succeeding. Jumps forward to nowadays, I mean, to like five minutes from now, where you have Bruce, some woman, and. The guy who was on the comms with Deathblow talking, and then someone, uh, while they're doing that, someone finds a hand, chopped off hand, in a told with payment slot. And that turns out that that was. Death blows hand, I guess. And so, everything all, all this comes together during the story. And it's a, it's a pretty cool story. Uh, with, uh, you know, secret government agencies and people turning on people and then t people turning on people again. And the artwork on here is just unbelievably good. Brian Azzarello does some incredible, incredible work on drawing. I think he's the, he, I think he's the artist. Let me. Oh, Brian Nazarello is the writer and Lee Bermejo is the penciler. So I guess Brian Nazarello actually does the art as well. But uh, one thing that does kind of bug me about Uh, this one in general and books like this specifically, if that makes any sense, 
is a lot of times it's kind of hard to keep track if they keep jumping back and forth in time because with this one I found it a bit hard to orient myself as to when certain things were happening because you know you're like pop up 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 then jump pop up up jump back here which wasn't you know which is in between the times and then back and forth so yeah it was a you really have to take a second and maybe reread something to keep track of what was going on and it, it can be it had difficult I mean take, take a take a look at that yeah but I did really like this this book it was better than I expected so I'm gonna give this due to just the, the and this may be just me but due to the prospect of having to jump back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and my uh, non-familiarity with the whole death blow program and IO, which is the company that he, the the company, as in like the company as in like CIA and stuff that he worked for, with my familiarity unfamiliarity of that I'm gonna have to give this a 3.5 just because you know the art was just unbelievably good and you know it's just the story jumping back and forth like that is what took it down a bit in grades but uh, okay that's it for that one next one is Robin, year one, which is, uh, this is also the deluxe edition, published by DC, written by Chuck, Chuck Dixon, and uh, who is the artist? Javier, Javier Rudo. Title, pretty much self-explanatory. Year one. It starts out with uh, some guy in prison already being, you know, he's pissed off that he got caught by a kid. So Robin has already been recruited and trained because, you know, Batman isn't going to just send him out. Untrained, so you know he's he's already Robin, and has been trained enough to the point where Bruce feels safe sending him out on the streets with him, and this one you don't spend a super amount of time with him as Robin because a lot of what happens in this book is uh, you know he, he he is shows him going out on patrol with Batman but a good portion of it is him dealing with uh, stuff at school uh, Batman having to explain to Gordon who this kid is and Gordon going yeah that's a kid are you sure you know what the hell you're doing and uh, so there, there's that which is I think is really smart they did this because you know Gordon's not stupid and he's going you know, to sit there and go that. yeah you, you really think it's a good idea to have this young kid uh out on the street with you and it kind of shows the initial cockiness of of uh, Richard god damn 
of Dick, um, saying, you know, that he's just so good at the job. And, you know, this is told through a journal and entries of Alfred. And, you know, you have Alfred expressing his concern as to Dick's childhood going away. And, you know, they're saying, hey, yes, you know, Bruce is feeling better, is getting better. And then if something happens where they start to debate whether it is a good idea because something happens to Dick. I don't want to get too much into it. But the arc in the story is really good because, you know, hey, 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 doing, you know, he's, he's doing great, he's doing well. Uh, something happens, Bruce is like, no, we're, we're taking you off because it's not safe down and then back up and of course we know that he's going to continue being Robin for a long time <clears throat> but the arc of that first year is very well done and the art here isn't as good as Death, uh, Batman Death Stroke or death blow, sorry, death blow. <laughs> it's more, a little bit more cartoonish than it is in that book. But it didn't really take away from the story. In fact, I'm going to give this a 3.75 out of five, because the story was better, but the art sort of took it down a little bit. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you thought of these books, if you read them. Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comments.